My name is Scott Roberts, and my wife and I own Peaceful Warriors Wellness Center here in downtown St. Petersburg. We help people feel better, move better, and be better through therapeutic massage, corrective exercise, stretching, reflexology, and many more. You can find us online at www.peacefulwarriorswellness.com. You can call us at 727-822-8866. This is the Feel Better, Move Better, Be Better uh, movement session. I record this every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Stream it live on Facebook. Please like and share. If you have any comments about anything, um, any questions about any of the movements or exercises that I'm doing, please feel free to leave them in the comments or contact me directly, and I'll be glad to address those uh, those areas of concern. All right, so i like to uh, recommend that we use a strap of some kind, a belt, a rope, um, something of that nature that will uh, assist you in your stretching, especially when it comes time to stretching uh, the legs and opening up the hips and lower back. All right, so we're going to start off with just with a simple reaching overhead. Open it up, just like when you first get out of bed, kind of stretch, reaching, opening it up. We're going to go ahead and make sure our feet are a little bit more than shoulder width apart. Lean to your left, left side bend. Your breathing is very important. Make sure that you're exhaling as you stretch. Now we're going to go ahead and go over to the right. down to shoulder height out in front of you. Rotate your chest and head to the left as far as you can. All the way around to the right. Back and forth, nice and easy. up the shoulders. So take the rope or strap in your right hand up over your head. Let the strap come back behind you between your shoulder blades. You're going to reach down between your shoulder blades with your right hand using your left hand at your belt line. You're going to assist at the end of that stretch and give it a little bit of a gentle pull. Notice that I'm releasing the stretch then re-engaging in the stretch holding it for a couple of seconds and releasing again. Now I'm going to reverse which hand is where. So my right hand is going to come down to the belt line. The strap's going to go over my left shoulder, reaching up between the shoulder blades. And it's important to reach first and then pull with the strap at the end to assist the movement. We're opening up the shoulder joint. Good job. Now I want you to bring your elbow up to shoulder height and bend your elbow at 90 degrees, still holding the strap back behind you. I'm going to rotate my shoulder, which is going to keep my elbow in the same spot, but my forearm and hand is going to move. And I'm going to reach back behind me as far as I can and use the strap to assist. Opening up the front of the shoulder, helping with people that have rounded shoulders, Due to prolonged sitting and driving, computer work, phone, tablets, etc. Okay, let's do the same thing on the left side. 
reach up overhead, strap come down between your shoulder blades, reach with the left hand, reaching down between the shoulder blades, and reach. Come down to your belt line with the left hand, strap over your right shoulder, reaching up with the left hand between your shoulder blades, Good. Elbow up, 90 degrees at the elbow. Rotate the shoulder, reaching back behind you. Good. Let's find a spot on the wall or pole, something that you can place your hand on, palm down. Your fingers you want to have pointing back behind you. I'm going to step forward with the opposite foot, so right hand, left foot, and now I'm just going to twist my chest away from the wall that I'm using as an anchor. Ease into it, hold it for a couple seconds and release it. Ease back into it. Now I'm only doing these stretches three times for each one, not because that's a magical number, but because that's the minimum number of stretches that anybody should do on any of these. And it makes it easy for me to stay consistent with what I'm showing you through this session. Any of these stretches that feel really good or feel like you need more of, please spend more time and more repetitions doing them. Okay? So let's go ahead and take your right hand over the top of your head, right above the left ear. Lean your head to the left and then assist at the very end. Pulling your head to the right shoulder, right ear to the right shoulder. Opposite side. We're just basically adding the weight of the hand and that arm to the stretch. We're not really pulling that hard. Definitely don't want to jerk the head. Head rotation. Your left hand on the right temple, right hand behind the left ear. Turn, assist. Other side. Good job. Now we're going to come down to the floor. Go ahead and lay down on your back. I like the stretch out strap, and you can get these online if uh, if you'd like. If you live here locally, I actually sell these in my in my office. They have pre-sewn in belt uh, loops in the uh, strap here, so it's real easy just to put that over the toes. If you have a belt or something, you're going to go around the ball of your foot, holding both ends. Straighten out your right leg, and keeping it straight. We're going to lift it towards the right shoulder. Now, a lot of people don't realize there's three hamstring muscles back here and that you can stretch each of them independently. So to do that, a second hamstring, we're going to take the strap around the inside of the ankle and underneath the calf. So it's now back here. We're going to pull that leg up and then assist at the end with the strap going towards the nose instead of the shoulder. Really focus on keeping that leg straight, or as straight as you can. Take the strap out from underneath your calf, all the way around to the outside of the ankle. That's going to turn your toes to the outside. Now we're going to pull that leg up and over towards the left shoulder. All right.
right, straighten out both legs. Now we're going to stretch the outside of the hip. And to do that, we're going to lift the right leg just high enough to clear the left leg and scissor across it. You want to keep your back flat, your hips on the floor, for the stretch. We're going to do three different angles. The first one is just above, high enough to go above the other leg. Now we're going to bring that leg up to 45 degrees and scissor across. Back down and up. One more at that angle. Now we're going to bring that leg up to 90 degrees or as close to 90 as you're able to get it. Scissor across. up one more time and across should feel really good across here all right let's take that strap out from underneath the calf all the way around to the inside again and under the calf straighten that leg out we're going to pull the right leg away from the midline keeping it straight all the way out as far to the right as we can Bend your knees. I'm going to take the strap off of my left, right foot here and set it to the side for just a moment. Grab your right hand underneath the right knee and pull that knee as close to your chest as you're able to. Reach up with your left hand onto your shin and pull that foot towards your left shoulder. You're rotating the hip and you're going to feel that stretch right across the back side of the glutes here. Now we need to do the same thing on the left leg that we just did on the right. So strap goes around the ball of the left foot, straighten that leg out, lifting the leg towards the same side shoulder. Around the inside of the ankle. Turning the toes in towards the nose. Around the outside of the ankle, turning your toes out towards the left shoulder. Straightening out both legs, we're going to scissor across with the left leg over the right. All right, coming up at 45 degrees. Scissor across. Up to 90 degrees. Remember to keep the hips flat.
Good. Strap comes out from underneath the calf, around the inside of the ankle. Straighten out your leg. And now we're going to pull that left leg all the way out to the left as far as we can. Doing a half split. Hey, beautiful. Hi. All right, bend your knees and take your left ankle onto your right knee. You can take the strap and set it aside. We're done with that. Good morning. Morning. Reach up with your left hand underneath your knee and pull that close to your chest. Reach up with your right hand under your shin and pull that left foot towards the right shoulder. Great. Go ahead and sit up. Let's roll over onto our hands and knees. Stand yourself up onto your knees. Reach forward with your right foot. Step forward. And you want that foot out in front of you a ways. So your right heel is up, but your toes are not touching the ground at the moment. You're going to push forward with your hips, keeping your upper body facing forward and upright. And as you push forward, you're going to feel a stretch across the front of your left hip. Easing into it, coming back out, easing back in. Remembering to breathe. All right, let's switch legs. Right knee down, left foot forward. Push your hips forward. That concludes the stretching part of what we're going to do today. Now we're going to go ahead and do some corrective exercises to help add to the stretching that we just did to correct the most common problems that people have, which include lower back pain, hip instability, rounded shoulders, head forward posture. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is work on the core a little bit. And to do that, we're going to do um, a series of exercises called them dying bug. And there are some ways to step back and make it easier. So if you're somebody that has severe back pain, you may or may not be able to do these or do them very well for very long. Okay, so to do dying bugs, you're going to lift your arms towards the ceiling. You're going to lift both he heels up off the floor. And now we're going to move our arms and legs together. Back and forth. It's about a six inch movement. Okay, six to eight inches. That's all you need to do. This is going to help teach and train the core. The more often that you do these exercises, the more consistent you are with them, the easier it'll be and the longer you'll be able to do it. Now for those people that are struggling right now with lower back pain and this is too much on you, that's okay. You can still do a variation. So start off with just your arms to your side, nice and relaxed. Lift one heel up, bring that knee closer to your chest to about 90 degrees, set it back down, and as soon as your heel taps the ground, bring it back up nice and slow and steady. All right. You can alternate, which is always good. It helps teach your body just like you're walking, all right, if you're alternating. So that's what I recommend for most people. Single leg, alternating work in the core, okay? You need to make sure that you're keeping this part still. If you have any wobbling, rolling, any of that here, you're not keeping your core tight. And that's the whole point of the exercise is keeping this stable and using the weight of the limb in order to challenge those muscles in here to keep this stable, okay? This is gonna help with lower back pain. All right, so dying bugs. If at any point in time you need to take a rest, 
You just set your feet down, set your arms down, take a couple deep breaths, lift them back up and do some more. So with the core, there's also a side core stability that needs to occur. So what does that mean? Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll over onto our right side, take your elbow underneath your shoulder, hip on the floor, knees together, okay? And bent so that you have your knees out in front of you. What we're gonna do is the very easiest, most basic level is all we're gonna do is let our rib cage sag in this little valley here, right? And all we're gonna do is lift our ribs and open up the knees in a clamshell and back. So sag, straighten, and open. Close and sag, okay? Side core stability. Now for people that are able to do that very easily, you can lift your hips up off the floor, pushing your hips forward, creating a flat surface from your nose down towards your knees. Okay, close and set your hip back down. Lift your hip and push it forward, opening up the knees all together in one movement. This will help you with your side core stability. So the next thing that we're going to do, um, an exercise that I recommend that people do on a regular basis is what's called a belly angel. So go ahead and roll over onto your stomach. Put your elbows out of shoulder height, bent at the elbow 90 degrees with your palms flat on the floor. You're gonna flex your upper back and lift your upper body away from the floor. So your chest, your head, and your arms are all gonna come up at the same time, okay? So it'll look a lot like this. Hold it for a couple seconds, release and slowly come back down, okay? If you have rounded shoulders, head forward posture, or that hump in your shoulders, this is very important to train these muscles and help straighten out your spine a little bit. do some planks. Plank is another great core exercise. So take your elbows, put them flat on the floor. Your palms are flat on the floor, about shoulder width apart. You're going to lift your hips away from the floor. You can keep your knees on the floor or lift your knees and hold that position. As I said earlier, the more often that you do these, the longer you'll be able to do them, the better your back will feel. Okay. So if you have back pain, I would recommend staying on your knees. And what you're wanting to feel is that little bit of quiver in your abdomen will let you know that you have your body in the right position. Your hips, your knees, your shoulders should all be in a straight line going from the floor up to your shoulders. You can have just a little bit of a raise in your, in your hips, but not much. You definitely don't want it to let it sag or come all the way up like this. All right, another common problem that people have is their glutes are weak. So we're gonna roll back over on our backs. And we're gonna do some hip presses, okay? So feet are flat on the floor and all you have to do is lift your hips up towards the ceiling or the sky if you're outside. This is something that you can just hold, or you can do reps, whichever you would like. Good morning. <laughs> A 
long sleeve shirt day, huh? Now to make this a little bit more challenging, you're gonna straighten out your left leg, keeping your right foot flat on the floor. And we're gonna lift our hips towards the floor only using the right leg and the right glute. So you're gonna squeeze that right glute, lift your hips up off the floor, your left leg comes with you, and now the two knees are next to each other. Obviously anything you do on the right side, you wanna do the same thing on the left side. Good job. All right, so along with stretching and, and exercise, I cannot stress to you the importance of drinking plenty of water, having proper nutrition, getting good sleep. The combination of those things are gonna help predispose you towards health and wellness, and there's no good dollar amount that you can put on your health and wellness, okay? So a special shout out to my Juice Plus family and any of those that will be watching this later today. Um, thank you for uh, viewing this content. Like I said, please feel free to like and share it and have a great weekend.